All right, in this lesson, we're going to learn what, what is data? You need to go, I know what data is. Yeah, most of you probably do know what data is, but this is specific to machine learning, right? We're going to talk about some vernacular you're going to have to know. Uh, many of you don't. Like, so if I were to ask you, what's a feature? Well, how is it different from attribute? Do you know? Well, you're going to have to know. All right, so this is from my course, C-O-U-R-S-E, on data. That's supposed to be one of those things. On data cleansing. And this, data clean, C-L-A-N-S. Yep, close enough. On data cleansing. And this is most of the job of and M-L-E, the only real job in all of AI. How much? About 90% of the job is data cleansing. All right, let's take a look at the video. All right, what is data in machine learning? Predictive modeling projects involve learning from data. Data refers to examples or cases from the domain that characterize the problem you want to solve. In supervised learning, data is composed of examples where each example is an input element that will be provided to a model and an output or target element that the model is expected to predict. Classification is an example of a supervised machine learning problem where the target is labeled. And regression is an example of a supervised machine learning problem where the target is a number. The input data may have many forms, such as an image, time series, text, video, and so on. The most common type of input data is typically referred to as tabular data or structured data. This is the data you might see in a spreadsheet and a database or a comma-separated values document, called a CSV file. This is the type of data we're going to focus on. Think of a large table of data. In linear algebra, we refer to this table data as a matrix. The table is composed of rows and columns. A row represents one example from the problem domain. It may be referred to as an example, an instance, or a case. A column represents the properties observed about the example and may be referred to as a variable, a feature, or an attribute. So a row is a single example from the domain, often called an instance, example, or sample in machine learning. A column is a single property recorder for each example, often called a variable, predictor, or feature in machine learning. For example, the columns used for input to the model are referred to as input variables, and the column that contains the target to be predicted is referred to as an output variable. The rows used to train a model are referred to as the training data set, and the rows used to evaluate the model are referred to as the test data set. So we have two things here, input variables and an output variable. Let's go with input variables first. These are columns in the data set provided to the model in order to make a prediction. And then we have this idea of an output variable. This is the column in the data set to be predicted by the model. When you collect your data, you may have to transform it so it forms one large table. For example, if you have your data in a relational database, it's common to represent the entities as separate tables. This is referred to as a normal form so the redundancy is minimized. In order to create one large table with one row per subject or entity that you want to use in your model, you're going to need to reverse the process and introduce redundancy into data in a process referred to as denormalization. If your data is in a spreadsheet or database, it's standard practice to extract and save that to a CSV format. This is a standard representation that is portable, well understood, and it's ready to be used for predictive modeling processes with no external dependencies. All right, now that we are familiar with structured data, next, let's look at why we need to prepare that data before we can use it as a model. 